was it a hard match to watch last Saturday? What was it like? You know, were you thinking during it, oh, I wish it was me on the pitch as well? What was that feeling like? Yeah, well, I suppose you always wanted to be you, but uh, obviously it was disappointing when we announced the squad on Thursday that I wasn't involved. But after that, you're just you've prepped the lads all week. So when you see them executing things that we prepped and they just executed so well, you just you're 100 percent behind them. And obviously, it's kind of probably more the celebrations afterwards when you see them on the pitch and stuff. You obviously think I'd love to be up in Dublin and be up there with them, but that's just the nature of the game. Joe you know, is very happy for the lads, and they worked unbelievably hard to get that result. And I think you know everyone could see that in the performance, just how on task they were and how well they delivered. So it was brilliant for them, and the whole group now is kind of buzzing this week going to the USA game on the back of it. So it's brilliant to see. Yeah, what is the ripple effect like? How much is that the quality of their performance last weekend, inspiring everybody else? Yeah, there's there's an inspiration factor in terms of you know like just watching them execute exactly what they said they were going to execute last week was brilliant. But, you know, there's also that thing where fellas in your position perform so well, it just adds competition to the squad. And, you know, if you get a chance against the USA this week, you know, that's where the bar is now. And that's where we have to try and get to that standard. And hopefully if we can do that, we'll get a result this week. But, you know, it, it kind of has a number of knock-on effects, which is brilliant. It's all positive, really, a result like that. So. In the case of opportunity knocks in a big way this week, that, you know, fantastic opportunity to, to muscle your way in there, to put your hand up in a press jump. Yeah, hundred percent. Like every chance you get in an Irish jersey is, you know, rare and it's an honour and you have to put your hand up, you know, that's the responsibility you take on when you play with Ireland. But, you know, there is certainly an added factor that, you know, if I was to be involved anyway, I didn't play last week and I wanna show what I can do and you know, it's our last chance in a green jersey before we go back to our provinces. So it's a hundred percent an opportunity for us and you know, I just hope I can grab it with both hands. Has there been any trouble with the group refocusing after the high that was the weekend? Uh, not really because you know like it's a, it, it's a huge result and all that but when we came back into camp you know they did the same against Argentina they had a great result against them but you have to refocus you have to you know prepare for the next opposition and you know we've a huge amount of respect for the USA so we're not going to be lulled into any sort of uh, celebration mindset and in fairness to all the lads that played you know like they all came in 100% switched on which is brilliant you know going into this week because I imagine it was hard for them after a high like that. I imagine the last thing you want this week would be a flat performance to finish off the November campaign. You want to make sure the level is pretty high this week. Yeah, and like I say, it's not that we, you know, we're looking at it, you know, with that kind of a view that we don't want a flat performance, but it's we know like we're we're chasing another big performance really is more how we're looking at it and that kinda of has to be how we're gonna go about it because like I say, the competition for places is just so strong and you know, everyone wants to get to that standard that the lads laid out there last week and if we don't get there it won't be good enough. So that's what we're looking to do this week, you know, we'll that's more the focus to get to that bar and you know there's we don't have any sort of nerves or trepidation about you know falling short we're just excited now to get out there against the USA and you know try and set that bar as high as we can. I'm sure this week is about working on combinations and stuff as well because we're likely to see a lot of changes from last week. Yeah, like we obviously don't have the team yet but there was different combinations out there in training today and you know that's kind of the exciting part of it as well that you know you're with guys that maybe you haven't like maybe some of us haven't been with since Italy and you know we we kind of have to test how we're going there as well. And I, when Joe picks the team, then whatever combination we have, we can just try and lock down and make sure we put in a performance. Uh, many people would have said that uh, Ty Byrne was unlucky not to make even the Argentina game and, and the All Black squad, considering how well he performed in Chicago. What, how has he responded, I suppose? You know, he's still kind of getting used to the Ireland R- setup and all the rest, but what's he been like around in camp? I suppose particularly not being part of those yeah well I think you know he's acquitted himself unbelievably well especially in training you know he provides that kind of uh, edge that you know you see on the pitch every week he provides that in training so you know that was obviously brilliant in terms of the lads last week you know preparing for the New Zealand breakdown and same against Argentina but no ty has been unbelievably positive obviously like I say with all of us is disappointment but I think yeah he's obviously a huge club for him back in Munster and might have liked to be involved more but I'm sure it won't deter him you know he'll be looking if he gets a chance this week exactly the same same as he did over in Italy to just make sure he puts his best foot forward and I'm sure he'll be thinking that between now and going to the Six Nations as well. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be looking to build kind of a good, uh, obviously, you came up with a good half-time, wasn't it, against you'd be looking to build yeah. a good relationship as well, line-out time as well, and use it to your benefit. Yeah, and obviously, look, I have a bit of an additional benefit with uh, Tyg obviously being in Munster, but, you know, I played 20s with Tyg and the same with Ian Henderson, and, you know, I had the Italy game with Quinn, so really, it kind of... You know, there's guys there that I've had a lot of time with to prepare with and to get those combinations, like I was saying. So, you know, whoever is picked, you know, it won't really be any excuse for us or anything line out wise. But obviously, having Tyg in my own club, I probably have had a bit more time with him of late. I'm sure you're pleased that Connor Gallagher's 
Connor Murray's back in full training, back in Limerick now again as well. Yeah, I obviously haven't been back in uh, Limerick, so I'm not really sure the extent to which he's been back. But obviously, the sooner we see Connor back on the pitch for both a Munster and an Ireland point of view, will be you know great to see. So hopefully it is this weekend. If not, hopefully soon because we'd sure love to have him back. Mel, I know it's a bit further out the field, but what does Johnny Sexton bring to a forward packer? How do the forwards view him in terms of leadership um, on the field and also in training? What's he like in training? Do you- yeah, well, like obviously he's a massive standard setter in training, and he's one of our big leaders. And you know, particularly from an attack point of view, he's hugely competitive. So he brings those standards. Obviously, I haven't been with him the last couple of weeks, but just looking back to my experience in Australia, it's probably more little things he taps you on the shoulder about post games. You know, that he'll grab a clip and he'll show you, and you know, it's brilliant for someone like me just to get learnings like that. And especially when I hadn't played much with Johnny before. So yeah, he's certainly just like, and I assume if he's doing that with me, he's doing it with all the players. So he's certainly does kind of give everyone those tips and that's brilliant that's the kind of character he is really has he, he has come to you specifically with a couple of yeah like things in Australia like running lines and things like that that you know I was obviously kind of catapulted in a bit late when Rory got injured and like he just helped me like with little things it's not like he's on your case or anything but when you can pull up a clip and say in this scenario if you did A, B or C then you know it just gives you a better overall understanding and I feel like I'm on a level now with the Irish game plan where you know I have that learning like I have that in my knowledge now, but I probably didn't have it to the same extent and at the start of the Australia tour. And you know, Johnny was a huge help to me in that respect. So I assume he's pretty much like that with everyone. Yeah. Um, how important was that Australia tour? Considering you weren't expecting the original squad and then to get called in, and you made a big impact towards the end of it. And just for your confidence in terms of going into this USA game. Yeah, like um, you know, I felt I acquitted myself quite well in Australia, but you know, it's it's kind of in the past now. When you know we've had this block, and probably would like to have played more in this block. I haven't played since Italy, so I'm just hungry now to get back out and you know put my best foot forward. I kind of feel like you can't be, you know, it was obviously great for my confidence at the time and stuff. But if you want to keep progressing as a player and if you want to keep challenging the likes of Rory and you know Sean Cronin, then you got to keep kind of moving forward and that. So I haven't really tried to think about it much. You know, like this week, I'll certainly just be concentrating on the USA and making sure that I put my best foot forward there. And considering it's the last game of the November window, and then you know, Six Nations will be the next time this camp uh, gathers again. Is there maybe just a little added pressure? Like, are you feeling that like this weekend just to kind of make a statement? Uh, well, I kind of feel like in this group, you know, we always set our own kind of standards. So there's just always that kind of pressure, you know, like that the standard, like I said, was set last week and. We won't be, you know, happy if we can't meet that standard. So that's just the kind of pressure that we always have on ourselves, and that's the kind of, you know, pressure we'll need to keep putting on ourselves to build into a, you know, successful Six Nations campaign and to build into a World Cup. So that's kind of where this group is at, and that's why it's, you know, so exciting to be part of, and why it's so competitive at training. And you know, you can't afford to kind of miss any rep in training. And you know, I love that challenge coming in here all the time. Uh, yeah, like he's, you know, I've, I've probably just noticed how mature he's been since he came to Munster, just in terms of how he's settled in there and how he's developed our attack game. And you know that that wasn't an easy transition for him. I think everyone kind of knows that to come to another province, but he's been exceptional since he came down. And that's kind of where I've noticed how mature he kind of actually is as a player. And you know, even as a guy, he's one of our kind of team leaders now in Munster, which is kind of scary when you realise he's only 23. But I think he's been brilliant, and you know, I think he was the same over in the USA and or in uh, Italy when we were over in Chicago, and I'm sure he'll do the same this week if he gets a chance. Oh, you know, uh, Peter Mahoney obviously he's well, pretty well. Uh, is he playing the best rugby of his life? Uh, I don't know if I'd be in trouble for saying that or not, but uh, he was certainly outstanding uh, in the at the weekend yeah. against New Zealand, you know, and I think he's been absolutely outstanding for Munster as well, and I think you know. Probably since the Lions, he's really pushed his game on, you know, and I, I think that's natural. I think a lot of lads would have that reaction to a Lions tour. You know, Pete hasn't spoken to me personally about that or anything, but, you know, I'm sure you see other guys and how they do things, and he's just always looking for any little edge he can get anyway. But, you know, he was obviously outstanding the last day. I don't know if he's playing the rugby of his life or not. He could probably only tell you that, but I certainly think he's been hugely impressive. Uh, this year and you know obviously for me having him in my club it's you know it's brilliant to see likewise with Tyg and stuff you know to see those guys that are really playing unbelievable rugby at the moment and really pushing the boundaries is great because that's what we need obviously as a club and in here he's the exact same so. We've heard, 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 he
Uh, I just watched it at home. Yeah, I, I have to watch it at home. I can't uh, have too many things going on. I was nearly anxious about it at, uh, from about lunchtime on. The seven o'clock kickoff was killing me, so I just had to watch it at home and stay calm, try and take it in. A murder with the Sky Plus for fast forwarding and ruining it. And I think it was about like, the natural idea that you want to be in the Ireland rugby team versus watching somebody like Rory having you know, a really good game on Saturday. Like, you know, how, how is it? Yeah, well like we're always unbelievably selfish, we want to be in the team, but I think to be honest, like I know this is how I view it anyway, like it's on Thursday when the team was announced, I wasn't in and it's kind of you're handing it over then and we'd always say in here that the responsibility is then on the guys that were picked to perform and I think when they perform you can't feel aggrieved or let down or, you know, Rory had an unbelievable game and, you know, Shawnee came on had a massive impact as well. So I think it's there's just a bit of an acceptance factor when you're, you know, you put your best foot forward all week and then they announce the team and after that you just do your best to prepare the guys and hand it over and I think, you know, that's exactly what we did last week and, you know, like when they back it up with the performance they did, then, you know, you can't really have any complaints. They're both very solid at the weekend, so fair play to them. Thanks a million for watching. If you want to subscribe, well, there's the button right there. If you want to see more videos, hit that down there.